<laughs> Where do you guys come up with these questions? Time warp, really? You know, but he put money to it, so here goes. In an objectivist society, should you be free to walk around your whole house naked with all your curtains open? Have intercourse with curtains open? I suspect the answer is yes. You would be free to do that. Um, if your neighbors don't like it, and I, you know, I guess it depends on how good looking you are, uh, but uh, then they will find ways to make it clear to you that you should stop. Um, I, I think if your neighbors come to you and said, look, our kids, we've got kids, and uh, you know, this isn't the way they should learn about sex is by watching you and whatever, I think the right thing to do is to stop. I think the moral thing to do is to stop. The, the, the decent thing to do is to stop. Um, I think nudity... I think we make too big of a deal out of nudity. Uh, I, I don't see the big deal in nudity. Um, so I, I, don't think, I don't think walking around your house naked should be a big problem. Now, it's funny because <laughs> our neighbors, you know, you know, uh, our neighbors in California uh, where we lived, um, I think before they got to know us, maybe even after, they called our house the nude house. The nude house. Not because we would walk around nude in the house, although maybe we did that, but not because of that. But because of all the sculptures and the paintings of, of nudes in the house. And I think the kids on occasion would come to the house and would, whoa, you know, we didn't know. <laughs> and they would see all the, all, the, all the paintings and the sculptures of nude men, women, uh, and, and it's shocking. It's surprising to people. People don't usually do that. They don't usually put paintings like that on the wall. And with us, it's everywhere. And you can actually look through, through the uh, um, glass from the street, and you can see this male nude sculpture, this life-size male nude sculpture, right standing there. You know, you can see it kind of vaguely because it's behind, it's behind the glass, but you can see it. So our house was the nude house. But I think, I think in Western civilization, because of Christianity, we make way too much out of nudity. Um, you know, the sinfulness of nudity or the, the, the evil of nudity. I, I, I think generally Christianity has had a very, very negative effect on our attitude towards sex, towards the human body. Uh, remember that athletes in the Olympics in Greece competed naked, competed naked, wrestled naked. Obviously not a homophobic society. Um, so, uh, you know, I certainly think sex, you know, is, is maybe questionable. It certainly would stop doing it. Now, uh, uh, Greg points out that Rand's view was that this sort of thing, and, and I think she was talking primarily about pornography. I don't know about your behavior, but pornography. And, and walking around the streets, certainly. But uh, that's shown in public, like, you know, billboards showing sex or, or sex shops displaying vivid, that there could be laws against that. And I remember in her article about pornography, she talks about that, that you, you, you know, if people, you can't just splash it in people's face. You can't just put it out there in people's face. And certainly if you're walking down the street um, naked, I mean, the owners of the street would obviously regulate that in some way. And, uh, and I think that given the government is the owner in some way of the street, there can be laws against that. Whether in your house where people can see through the windows, I don't know. I, I don't know that she used that specific example. Greg, if I'm mistaken, please correct me. Um, I, I, think, I think that's different. Um, you know, again, okay, somebody masturbating in the house in front of the window. So if you masturbate in front of the, in the house in front of the window where everybody can, you know, it's just there. They, they, it's, you know, it sounds like they have to make an effort to see you, but, but you're right there in front of them. Then, yeah, I can see that there'd be laws uh, against that. But I think there's a difference between nudity and masturbation and intercourse. I think there's a difference between your house and the windows happen to be open and somebody could sneak a glance in versus you being an exhibitionist displaying it all to the world. I, I think there are nuances here that would have to be worked out. But again, I think there's way too much done out of nudity. Um, 
and uh, I, you know, I, I don't think that there would, uh, I, I, you know, anyway, I, I don't think there would be a, 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 as big of a deal in an objective society. Uh, Greg says she didn't use that example, but I think the principle is if you're doing it in a way where people on other properties can easily see you without making a special effort, then yeah. So you'd have to have some category which in their, I think, where it's in their face, uh, then it would be wrong. And again, I don't know, I'm not sure whether that would apply to nudity or not. Leonard has, I remember Leonard had um, a discussion on limitations, uh, on, on nudity generally. He was, he was pro it. I think he used to go to the, he used to talk about going to the nude beach in uh, San Diego during the objectivist conferences back in the old days when they were in San Diego, he used to go to Black's Beach. And, um, uh, and he talks about when public, what kind of limitations would be in public nudity under what circumstances. Again, I don't know if he talked about this specific example of a home, but I think Greg's right. If you're, if you're in people's face or if, if, if it can be seen so easily as to disturb people, then yes, you can imagine certain regulations of it. Um, but, but yeah, I would, I, I'd refer, try to find what Leonard Peikoff said about it. He's always incredibly insightful about these things. It's in his podcast somewhere. I don't remember exactly what he said. I remember it from his, uh, <clears throat> I think he talked about it at TJS, at Thomas Jefferson School, the, the precursor of, uh, of um, Ocon. I think he talked about 1987 when I was there because he, he had gone to Black's Beach and um, so he talked a little bit about nude beaches, at least, in, in that show. Um, all right. Is Europe more open about nudity? Yeah, I think Europe is more open about nudity. Um, you can go to parks in the summertime in a place like Germany and Northern Europe, and you can find people sunbathing in, in, uh, in the nude. Um, nude beaches are much, much more common all over Europe, and, and, and there's certain... Certainly, aesthetically, um, that can be very displeasing. But, um, yeah, there's much more public nudity in Europe than there is in, um, in the United States. We, the United States is prudish. It's generally much more influenced in this realm, in the realm of sex and in the realm of, 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 of body, uh, than, than uh, Europe is. Much more influenced by Christianity, the U.S. is. Uh, as a consequence. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, in Europe, you see a lot more of it. Uh, I remember um, going when I was a teenager uh, in, uh, to, the de to the beaches in the Sinai Desert in Dahab and Nueva, and all these European women, Northern European women would, uh, well, not just women, men, but I paid attention only to the women, um, would vacation there. Uh, it was, you know, because it was always warm there, and so you could come in the winter. And it would be one long stretch of miles and miles and miles of basically nude beach. Teenage heaven for a boy, um, you know, at the time. So, uh, I, you know, it was, but, but you saw a lot of European women. You didn't see American women, and you saw some Israeli women. So, um